welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome i'm hannah and today's video as you can see from the title we'll be testing and reviewing the new juvia's place what do they call it the shade stick foundation so if you want to see what my thoughts are on this foundation and yes please keep watching i was kindly gifted in pr again um the juvia's place sticks i haven't tried their magic foundation or their concealer or powder but i have tried the eyeshadow palettes but for finally i can now try the complexion part of their line um so here i was gifted the pr box for the foundations i was gifted around 16 shades that were around my sort of shade referencing was given a bunch of shades um that were hopefully going to be around my shade uh my color match shade what um so i'm normally an nc25 to nc27 in mac so yeah um i'm loving this roll neck it was from my boohoo haul if you haven't watched my boohoo haul then please check that out shade sticks formulate to feel like skin providing a seamless finish 30 multi-purpose shades i love the word multi-purpose what i love the word multi-purpose because you can use it for um for highlighting contouring foundation all of that so you can get multiple uses out of them i know they're 16 dollars each which is really affordable um so the foundation conceals corrects highlights and contours medium to full buildable coverage paraben free cruelty free available on juviusplace.com and ulta beauty locations and each product contains 9.7 grams or 0.34 ounces of product as we can see we have got some categories which i love like i love seeing more dark than light i'm just going to be honest because that's just how life is um so we have the deep darkest deep dark dark rich tan tan medium light very light and i think I'm just seeing a whole array and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's absolutely amazing. So this is what the foundation looks like in its packaging. I love the packaging. This is just a random shade that I picked up. And then of course we have just like this foundation stick in this like salmony pinky orange shade. And obviously when you open it, you can swatch the colour. This colour right here is Manila. Then we have here, which is Panama. Then here we have Belize. This shade right here is Marrakesh. This shade right here, Brazilla, and then this last shade up here is Grenada. Manila and Panama are in the medium section, and all four of these, one, two, three, four, are in the tan section. I'm actually going to go for Panama, um, or should we go for Belize? I'm even between Panama and Belize. Okay, so I am going to use the shade Panama, which is this one right here. Let me just show you up close and personal. That is the shade that I'm going to go in with. Um, I am going to use my By Bonnie 2 brush. Um, I'm going to probably, because of stick foundations, I'm probably going to buff it in with a brush and then just lightly go over it with a sponge. Just to see, I hope it doesn't like accentuate pores or anything like that, just because I am going out to an event today. Two events, so I need to be looking decent at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this onto the skin, just like so. I don't know how much to put on, but we're just going to go on the skin as I usually would. We're now going to buff it in. Okay, so I'm finding that it's blending nicely. It's quite not, it's, I'm not finding it's difficult to blend, which is a good thing. I'm trying to look for a handheld mirror. But um, yeah, I think the shade is pretty decent. It looks pretty, pretty good. Obviously, we can go in and contour if it does turn out a little bit too light. It is blending really, really nicely with a brush. Obviously, I might go on top of a sponge or see what we need to do once everything is blended. It is blending in really quickly, which is nice. It's melting into the skin. Doesn't feel heavy. Um, is moving around very very nicely is blending what i need it to blend i can definitely see the coverage it's, they've, it's definitely got coverage i obviously i haven't tried the magic foundation i know that's supposed to be super duper full coverage so i like with this one it's like medium to full rather than just super full um and this doesn't feel thick obviously on applying it doesn't feel as creamy as other stick foundations that i use like it's not as creamy as the revolution one um but it is giving me necessary coverage which i like it's definitely doing what it says already. Like I'm looking up in my mirror up here and it definitely looks medium coverage um, to full. Might be areas that I want to go in and build up. Maybe my chin area, my moustache and my nose area. But of course we can go in with concealer and we can um, contour which will add more coverage. Okay, so I have gone in and blended the foundation. I did put some concealer on. I just used the Milk Makeup Concealer. I know you're probably going to be asked why can't you use this concealer. You probably can with the sticks but... 
I just feel sometimes with sticks they're a bit heavier consistency and your eye area is very very thin tissue and cells so I don't really want to be packing too much on there I just want a normal light concealer but I am now going to go in with contour and then I did try and pick out something that was pretty decent for me I did pick up Addis Ababa um, or Ababa um, this is in the rich tan section I think this would be a properly a decent shade for contouring so we are just going to go in put the sculpt the face and then we will blend it in I have gone in and blended this all in. This is a really, really nice shade. I'm getting super duper full coverage, really lovely sculpted skin. Obviously, I haven't set my under eyes yet, so they're still looking a little bit shiny. But this is giving me vibes. Like, I'm definitely up close and personal. I originally, when I'm looking at my mirror up here, it's far away. I was worrying that I was blending it wrong. I was worrying that I was going to have errors or it was going to be patchy as soon as I use my handheld mirror to look up to my face. Soon as you bring the mirror to your face, my skin just looks flawless. Like, honestly, obviously, I do think this foundation needs to be set. Like, it's not giving me matte vibes. It's just giving me very satin, everyday, like, normal skin vibes. It's not giving me dewy. It's just more giving me, like, a little bit of radiance. But, obviously, I'm going to add a little bit of contouring, like, powder, and to set my under eyes. So, obviously, it will matt mattify down a little bit. It's giving me vibes. Like, it's giving me coverage. It's giving me what I love. I'm loving it. Like, I'm definitely getting coverage from it. I'm definitely getting what I want. I love the bronzy vibe to it. The shade Addis is amazing. So, yeah, what I am going to do now is I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back to you guys. The rest of my face is done. I am loving, like, I think I'm going out in a little while. <laughs> but I am literally really loving how it is all looking. My skin looks flawless. Like, it actually looks flawless. Like, I'm in so impressed with it. I literally love it. Um, it really goes well with powders. I've got like a little bit of powder contour on top, a little bit of blush and some highlighter. And it's just making everything sit really, really lovely. I think for $16 as well, like, how have you managed to pull off such a bomb product? Like, nothing separating. It's not clinging to any dry patches. It's not clinging anywhere. It's a little bit funky in the corners of my nose. But... I think we'll be okay with that. The lashes that I'm wearing, by the way, are a new brand that are now launching in Primark. Um, I'm in love with them. They're called Baby Doll Lashes, and these are the 3D silk lashes in the style. This doesn't have a style. Oh, 730. Um, I wish I had a name, but yeah, these are like so super fluffy. I love them. These are like Hannah and a lash if I was to collab. I know I say this all the time, but every time I find a new lash, I'm like, yes, this is me. For my lips, I have the Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Sugar and Spice, and then the iconic lip gloss, iconic London lip gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. Um, just wanted something very basic and whatnot. So yeah, I am super duper in love super duper in love super duper impressed i know everyone's gonna be like i kind of keep saying super duper but i am really really in love with it um it looks amazing on my skin it feels amazing i look and i feel good like i generally look and feel good so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section i'll be happy to reply to them also if you're new here i'd love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell if you've got any recommendations for any other videos then please let me know but i hope you enjoyed this video i love you loads and i shall see you in the next video bye